Now you are going to stay here for the rest of your ridiculously life. And I strongly mean it. You are a big disgrace and nuisance to everybody. I never really do not like you anyway. You have caused way too much trouble and I really should have done this a long time ago. Hope you freaking die in here. I am actually serious about it. Goodbye. Forever. You lame excuse for a human being. Please don't leave me mom. Do not leave me starving. You are bad people. I hate you. Bye. Now, we have to smoke marijuana and drink beer until Violi is starving. She really is a scum losers of putrati. Good idea Ferdinand. We had to get drunk, bent, and get drugged until Violi dies of hunger. It smells like a cigarette. Where does that smell come from? I don't know, Dana. We are going to check out of the window. Yes, Emma. Locking our fake daughter in the bathroom tied in the chair with an empty stomach is a good exotic idea. Our fake daughter became a big disgrace and nuisance our family. <gasps> Nothing could be worse for us. Oh my gosh, that is completely outrageous! Why? Oh my freaking gosh. Someone discovered us outside my house. I'm going to check to kill them. Dang it. They're escaped. But sooner or later they will go back to sniffing out window. If they shows up, I'll kill them and bury them in my yard. We're going to tell our new friends that Viley has been kidnapped by her fake parents and call the police about it. You got it. Open the door right now. Is the police. Open the darn door or I'll be forced to kick it multiple times. No. We are high on cocaine and tobacco and we are also very drew. Oh my gosh why did I say that? You. You're a stupid idiot Ferdinand. Why did you say that? I'm going to K. Aha! Here are the child abuser! Let's catch them! Whoa, 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 look what we just noticed. Some idiotic fake parent smoking more juana and smoking in the house. And what we just found is a box full of morana and drugs. This is so disgusting. Now, give us an explanation. Why is there a box full of drugs and why is Viley locked in the bathroom tied up and starving? Um, ah, uh, sir. Is it because, um, she was too, uh, rebellious towards us? Because she was um 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 I and we put these boxes of a stupid, I mean, drugs to throw them, uh, away. Liars! You're dead! How dare you take two drugs and kidnap Violet by letting her starve to death in the bathroom? We cannot believe it! Drugging and leaving a girl to tie up without eating is a very serious crime! Ferdinand, Devlin, Carmen, and Emma and Margaret Anderson. Both of you are under arrest for drug trafficking, child abuse, kidnapping, child neglect, and murder for Corona Elizabeth Zabateta. They have a right to remain silent. Anything you say you can be used against the court of law. You have a right to speak with authority. If you cannot afford a public defender, one will be provided of the state expenses. Get in the police car right now. Wah, 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 wah. Where am I? Oh. Gracias a Dios. Haz bien. Amen. ¿Cómo estás, señorita? What? I don't understand you. You can speak English, because I don't understand it in Spanish. No te preocupes también, señorita. Anyway, and why you are here in the hospital. In the hospital because, because he noticed that your parents are communally who are your uncles have locked in the bathroom. bathroom. I'm so glad he rescued you in time. time. Otherwise, you probably, you probably never would have survived survive. Monolo, Monolo Dantes called me the police, police to arrest, to arrest your false parents. Your false parents. And, and I, I hope they're serving a long sentence. This is so ridiculous. I knew that we should have chosen a less server punishment for our fake daughter but then again. She has killed and kidnapped quite a few people in the past literally since 2020. I know right, eh? 
She managed to escape multiple death penalties and she is still alive somehow. She should be the one in jail, not us, and the authorities should not have put our aliases, me, as scum loser and you the stupid head. No talking or chatting each other, please. In the, In the meantime, after, after you leave the hospital, hospital you will have to live with your real parents forever. Because we are sure that your uncle will be sentenced to death penalty. Really? Yes. Yes. They will be died on April 7. 7. Oh, oh, he found out beforehand that your uncle is massively traumatized. You to such a degree that you become a troublemaker. Lack of affection and inattention were what led you to become that way because of your uncle. Besides, tomorrow you are going to leave the hospital and you are going to live with your real parents so that you can live a better life. Thank you, Dr. Posada. No problem. no problem. Besides, you have to give the last words for, for your uncles before sentencing them to the death penalty. Yes, I will go with them to give some very hurtful and insulting words to my false parents. It sounds, it sounds mean and insensitive. But it's okay. It will, it will accompany you with your, with your parents, parents Giselle and Larry to jail. Okay. Violi, why in God's name are you out of your bathroom? You're supposed to be died of starve. But wait a second. Why do you have your baggage? Are you going to return to our house so as not to continue abusing you? We will treat you with dignity. A pair of hypocrites do not know what they say. Also, our daughter Violi wants to say something about you too. Tell us what? Tell us Violi. What do you want to tell us? I want all two of you to listen up, and listen good. I have been suffering for the past 17 years ago. Day and night being grounded by all of you for everything I do. I try to have fun all by myself. But you all keep me from doing that. I can't be the person I want to be when you all keep grounding me. At this time, I will moving out of your house so that way I can live a better life. Not being grounded all the time. What? No. Bailey. You can't do that. We know that we've grounded you all the time. We do it just to keep you safe. We don't want you making bad decisions as you grow older. Yeah, we're just doing what we can do so that way you can succeed. Violi, it may not seem like it, but we love you very freaking much. You love me what? You love me. That is a lie. And you know that, if you all love me, you all wouldn't be grounding me every single I do. You put through so much morons. But I just can't take it anymore. I am moving up because I have been treated like stupid for a good portion of my life. And for all the reason that Violi started it. We will also be moving out. You stole our daughter since she was a five-month-old baby. And Emma, you are the worst sister I have ever had and bad mother. And you're Ferdinand a bad brother-in-law and bad father. You two are a disgrace to our family. You don't deserve to be good parents to your children. We both cannot take it anymore. We just want to live in life. Do you have any final words to say to us before we are out of your house in here? Violi, we are very sorry for how we've treated you all this time. We just felt a little disappointed in your behavior. We won't ever treat you that bad ever again. Well it's too late for apologies and sympathy. You both have done it for too long now. We are fed up with it. If you're excuse us, we are out of here. You can kiss this little girl's cheeks goodbye. Wait Violi, Larry, Giselle, please. No, stay away from us. They are child abusers and demo pressers. And that is the very end of it. If you're excuse us, I said we're out of here. We never want to see any of your stupid face ever again. Wa 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 we've been the worst persons ever we've been the worst person we've been the worst person to have been the worst persons involved. Wa 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 With the evidence presented by defense and the prosecution. By the statements of the young Violi Margaret Anderson, by the evidence of the legal studies and the complaints against Emma Margaret Anderson and Ferdinand Devlin Cartman, are found guilty of the murder of fighters Zapeda, attempted murder of citizens by only Margaret Anderson, as well as guilty of child abuse, child neglect, rape, drug trafficking, and child theft. And they are sentenced to the death penalty. Well, that's it for now, case closed. Welcome to 
the game called Burning the Marianne and Luigina. I'm Marianne Plumington. And this is my sister, Luigina Plumington. And today we are going to burn for the nun, the crazy head, and his ear death as an execution. Now, are you ready to burn for the nun devil and alive once and for all? Yes! 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 <laughs> yes! 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 Okay, everyone, so get ready. Now, let's burn that child abuser and good for nothing grounding and doubt for Violet Anderson like that. All against domestic violence and child abuse. We are going to burn him to death once and for all. And for your goodbye. Wait, what are you doing with that fire gun? Wah 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 wah. <laughs> Ta da! The crazy head has been defeated. That means he has already died. Let's celebrate the death of Bernard and Devlin Cartman. They are child abuser who went to hack. Please don't do anything to me. I swear to you that I will be a good person with everyone especially Violet. Emma, you don't have a chance to change your mind. You have failed as a person. You have several heinous crimes since 2002, such as that you stole Violet from your sister and it's all your fault though. What the heck is wrong with you? Emma, my own older sister, you are the worst sister I have ever had in my life. You are the worst human being that ever lived. You are the worst person in the world. I wish my mom gave you an abortion as dead, if my daughter would be with me without you, my life would would be happy with my family. I'm ashamed of you, and I hate you, I hate you all my might. You came into our house to take Violet back with you. You also locked me up, wish my family tied us up, gacked us, and left our house without electricity. You are a seriously wicked jerk. You are a serial abuser. Besides, you murdered my friends Luigi because Luigi insulting you by calling you a scum loser. I hope you deserve to be insulted. You don't deserve to live on Earth. We should do with you. Kill you with bullets. All right, guys. Get your weapons ready and let's shoot her. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Me. Good news for Los Angeles residents. M. Anderson and Ferdinand Devlin Cartman have been confirmed to have died after committing crimes such as child abuse, drug trafficking, child theft, rape, kidnapping, and child neglect. All the inhabitants reacted their happiness after their execution. Violi Margaret Anderson lives happily with her real truth family with love, peace and harmony. This is Lucy Report, stay tuned. Ah, a good day to love all by myself. Hopefully in these two months, I overcame my trauma and my past behind. Well, my real parents treated me so good and with dignity. Now I have healed my sanity, and my way of being thanks to my mother Giselle, who helped me a lot to move forward, like a good path. Sweetie, do you want to go with us to Venice Beach to have fun together as a royal family? Oh my gosh yes, I will go with you to the beach.
Congratulations, Violi. We are very proud of you that you graduated, even your teacher and principal certified you a scholarship. That means that you are going to university to become someone in life and be a good girl. Thank you mom, dad, and Marilyn for supporting me and helping me during these eight months of getting out of my pain and my sufferings that my uncles put me on it, being a ruthless problem. We will not talk about it, the past is past. Yes, what matters to us is the present. But also, I bring a surprise for you. Really? Tell me dad, what is it? What is today's surprise dad? Follow me. Ta-da! Oh my gosh we were gorgeous and fabulous as a family. Oh it can't be, I came out beautiful with that family poster. Yes, the truth is, I look adorable, besides my dad looks very helpful as a Spanish soap opera heartthrob and my mom a beautiful flower. Ah. Thanks, Marilyn. Besides, you already made me blush because of what you said about me. But it does not matter. But you you know one thing guys, that this family poster we will be a happy harmonious. Peaceful and true family without pain, sadness and violence. What a beautiful family we live in today. Isn't it Larry? Yes honey, a happy harmonious, peaceful and true family will be totally infinite for us. We are a happy family.